right now. Here he is, rocking Tabby Thomas, the king of the swamp blues.
Oh 
You know, way back there in Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia, and places, you know, people worked on the plantations five days a week. Sun up, sun down, picking cotton, corn, red cabbages, whatever it was, that's what they were doing. Most of them, they didn't have anything because they was down with these plantations. They didn't have anything. The only thing they had was Saturday night. They would go out on Saturday night and have a big time because they might have had Robert Johnson or Sunhouse or some of the great blues players come into a little jukey in that area. And they'd hear about it from word to mouth, people going, traveling, riding on horses, and they'd tell everybody. And on Saturday night, they started getting ready around four or five o'clock, women dressing and getting ready and getting their hair picks. And man, they would be going to the place by seven o'clock, eight o'clock, you couldn't get in there. People came there and and wagons, horses, some of them walked. They didn't have no lights on the streets or nothing. They didn't have anything. But the only thing they had was that Saturday night when, when one of the guys would be coming there, some of the great blues singers. And when they got there, they were ready to really party. What happened way back there, it's not like kids, they had a lot of things. They didn't have anything. And when Sunhouse, they found out Sunhouse was coming, Sunhouse was a superstar. He didn't have no applications, plays, instrument on, but when he'd get in there and get to singing and patting his foot, that's all they had. They had no mic, no drums, or nothing like that. People would dance all night long. They'd dance till they get tired. Some of them would be laying down three or four o'clock in the morning on the table, sleep on the chairs. And that's the blue singer's prayer. And they go and play everywhere. Now the most important thing, what I'm trying to say is music, blues, it comes from the slaves. You know, the slaves, they didn't have nothing. But they had a Saturday night. And that's all they could do is go out and have a nice time. And that way, the way they did it. And then he would play till about 6 o'clock in the morning. And everybody be done really just got tired. Some people sleep on the table, some on the chairs, some out in the wagons on the front porch. And everybody be tired. One or two of them would still be up there moving around. So by 7 o'clock, 7, 7, 30, son of us would go out there and put on his black robe and cap. Then he'd come out and he'd start preaching. And he'd talk about Daniel in the lion. And he'd dramatize it, man, and holler and scream and going, people just falling out. Talked about Lazarus raising Lazarus from the dead and all that. And man, the people just, they just was, I guess because they had all night been bought and they were just falling out and screaming and crying. He would scare them and he would really know how to do it. And so I, that's what I'm trying to say, you know. The blues singer was the first superstar because he'd go to these little places, women would bring food and stuff for him and cake and can whatever he liked to do bring it ham and all that bring a lot of food to eat and they would have a big time people came to hear the blues singer from everywhere
Lubuda, oh Lubuda, tell me when you stay last night. Cause when you come home this morning, baby. Tomorrow, yes, tomorrow. 
I was crawling on the floor
brand new wig You didn't have no hair at all Give me back my wig I bought you I'ma let your head go bald So don't say Don't say a mom that word Water go upside your head All this mess I Mississippi many years ago and right on the line of Louisiana and Mississippi they had a little club up there and on Saturday night people used to come there and they really boogie what happened I used to go up there and put my little 45 on the jukebox Put my picture on the wall by the jukebox And on Saturday night Place be packed I had old Lincoln Continental Somebody had hit it on the right side And bent all over the end and all mashed up But on the right side it was shiny And I used to wax it on the right On the left side I used to by the driver's side I used to wax it and shine it and everything I go up there on Saturday and park it in there about 7.30 at night. And man, when they come in there and they saw that Lincoln out there and it was shining on one side, they couldn't see the other guys. It was dark at night and the way I had it parked by the building, they couldn't get out there to see it. And man, they thought I was a superstar. So what happened, you know, I'd uh, go in there, band set up and everything. So about 10 o'clock, Band didn't start playing about the time they had a gambling shop and the people be shooting dice, playing cards and all kinds of stuff, man. Everybody was just having fun, wait till the band started. So about 10 15, the band would start playing my intro. And man, look, I put on that black cape. My wife had made me a, black, a cape like Dracula. I don't know if you ever saw Dracula on TV movies, but Dracula had a big old black cape, and the inside was red, it had a big collar to it, but I had me some white gloves on, when they started playing my theme song, man, I'd come through that door and throw my hands up, and man, the women just fall out and scream, tabby, and man, we used to boogie, and dance up there, and people be shooting dice, and playing poker, and drinking beer, and everybody be just having a time, they be packed. The only thing about it, around 12 o'clock at night, I'd always start playing some of that slow belly rubbing music. I don't know if y'all know what I'm talking about, but anyway, I do that little belly rub movement. Guy get a gun, you hold her tight and start squeezing and going on with her. And what happened, the only thing about it is, 
that if you get another guy's girlfriend get to holding a tight man and dancing with a man, guys get mad. They be to drink that old homebrew and everything, they get mad, man, and next thing you know, man, everybody and somebody start fighting. About 12, 30 people start fighting and shooting and going on. Man, you had to run and jump on the table, jump behind the bar and everything. I'm just saying, that's the way it was. But like I said before, you know, it's a little club up there and B.B. King wasn't going to never come up there because B.B. King was playing in big auditorium in big cities. And I was the only guy who was coming up there playing. Some will say, you know, like way back then, things didn't change now, but every now and then I'd get in my car, be passing, going to Atlanta or someplace, and I'd pass by that old little club and just think about all the good times that we used to have, even though they had fights and so forth and so on. But I think about all the times I played up there and look back, and man, I just think about it and laugh how much fun. We had at that little club right on the line of Mississippi and Louisiana. 